Hello everybody, I am Joe from ICT Group and in today's video I would like to show you a sample of how to access a database using Dapper. The database I have here is a Microsoft SQL Server database. It's called Test and it just has one table called Users which has a couple of users in there. In my sample I have a main page the main page just has a data grid view on uh, the whole form. It's docked to the parent. And that's basically all. We also have a user class. This user class maps to the fields of the database. And you can also see that a date time is a nullable. Also, we have some calculated values. For example, the, the full name is constructed out of the last name plus a comma plus the first name. If there is no first name, just the last name is returned. Uh, you can also set uh, the full name. It is uh, a parsed and returns the left and the right part of the value and the left part was, is considered to be the last name and the first name is the right part. This setting is not used here in this application. Also I have a calculation of the age which is a simple um, a procedure to calculate how old a person is. How the value of uh, the full name is parsed is not subject of this uh, video. Okay so in the main page we have nothing fancy we just open up a connection, query the database, and set the data say, uh, set uh, the data source of the data grid view to this uh, uh, result set. Let's see what get connection does. Get connection returns a SQL connection. The parameter how to open uh, determines if the new connection is already established or if it's just created. Uh, the, con the SQL connection uses the connection string, which is defined here. It returns the value of the connection string inside web.config. There it is on the bottom. It's just the usual uh, regular connection string of SQL Server. Okay, we don't need this anymore. We can go back to the main page. So what does get connection do? It returns the connection uh, because SQL connection is derived from I disposable. I have to um, free the connection which is done by embracing the whole uh, thing in a using clause. So and this is the interesting part of uh, this video. The connection is extended, it has, has an extension method which is coming from Depper and um, it is returning a user and this is the SQL statement that determines the data that is queried from the database. So when this, when this statement is successful, users will contain a list of users which is read from the database and this list can be assigned directly to the data source. So let's see how this works. I'm starting the application. YSJ started up and this is all the data from the database. This is how easy things are going with Dapper. Uh, there is no need for SQL commands, uh, SQL data tables and whatever. A simple mapping of this user class to the SQL statement. The only thing that you have to do in order to, to get Dapper and use it in your application is add a, refer a reference to Dapper, which is done using NuGet. You browse for Dapper, and this is the one you should use. I have it already installed, so I wouldn't show. I can't show you the installation process, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay, this is how easy 
uh, an application can use SQL uh, Server databases. Uh, DAPA makes it very easy to write SQL statements. DAPA doesn't have uh, just the query method. It also has methods to execute insert, update statements. It uh, can use transactions, but uh, that is a topic for another video. So I hope you like this one, and see you next time. Bye-bye.